Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. So today is test day. We installed this about a week ago. You could go ahead and check out that video if you want, but today for this video, we are gonna be testing it. So uh, we're gonna start out with doing unbalanced load tests. Then we're gonna do a heavy unbalanced load test. Then we're gonna do a surge test. Then we're going to test the continuous output of this unit. Now there's a lot of locations on the website where they say the FlexBoss 21 can output uh, 16 kilowatts continuous as long as you have PV. Now I don't think that's right. I think it really maxes out at 12 kilowatts continuous if you just have uh, solar. Now if you want to get up to the 16 kilowatts, I think that you're going to want, you need grid actually as part of that. But we can go ahead and try that as part of this test to see if grid is really required. But uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, so like I said, I have had this running for about a week now. Now, after you install it, you'll wanna make sure to call EG4, just have them double check your settings because the firm, latest firmware I got on this, there were some extra settings that I, that I didn't know I needed to change. For instance, the EG4 battery type or brand needs to be one instead of zero. And then also, I believe it had some parallel settings enabled by default. And you know, I only have one of these and you know, I don't have two running in parallel, so I needed to disable those. But just call EG4 and have them double check your uh, settings before you uh, get it up and running. Okay, let's go ahead and test the uh, idle consumption because I haven't tested that yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have a low power use right now. So I'm gonna switch my house over to grid. And I'm gonna turn off my solar. And let's, uh, so this is just idling without any uh, loads. It looks like the battery is 53.5 volts. Let's uh, zero my meter out. 1.1 amps. Wow, that's really low idle consumption actually. 1.2 amps. So it looks like it's idling with 64 watts according to my test. So that's pretty good. Let me turn this back on. Switch our house over here again. Okay, for my heavy unbalanced load test, I basically just started a, a few big items on my house. So I started my air conditioner and then I started an oven burner. And then on the L2 leg, I ended up starting my microwave. And after I had my microwave running on L2, I plugged my, tried to start my shop back on L2 as well. And this has a good inrush current and was able to start that just fine. So I just decided to up it one more uh, level. And so I, before I started my shop back, I ended up uh, started putting a, an extra, extra load, a heat gun on L2 as well. Then I went and tried to start my shop back and uh, I used my Klein meter and to measure the inrush coming out of the outlet and it measured uh, 289 amps. So I may have, I'm not sure if my meter is going bad or maybe the motor on the uh, shop back is going bad and there's a really big spike. But um, I did this test twice just to verify and yeah, my in, the inrush on my meter was uh, measuring 289 amps. So that was kind of interesting, but it was able to start it and I had, some other inverters in the past I've tested. I haven't had any of my inverters able to uh, start the heavy unbalanced load if I had that extra, uh, you know, heat gun. So I had a little rookie mistake here, guys. So uh, yeah, I haven't used this thing for a while, but if you clamp right here, you have more precision. There must be like more windings on this side and uh, you get 10 times the amount of current. So you have more uh, precision. But uh, yeah, I was clamping right here. And so I was get, instead of getting 29 amps, I was getting 289 amps. <laughs> All right, here I'm gonna do the uh, surge test. So I'm just putting a bunch of loads on my house and I'm going to try and start my three ton air conditioner that does not have a soft start. So there's my house, almost uh, 10,000 watts as the base load. And here I'm gonna try and start my air conditioner and it did, ended up starting it. So I'm just going to look at the specs of the uh, air conditioner. Now this is a three ton air conditioner with no soft start. Now uh, supposedly this inverter can start a five ton air conditioner without a soft start to save you some money so you don't have to install that soft start. So yeah, it did this one just fine with the heavy load. 
Okay, now for the test, which I've been really waiting for. So I'm gonna see if grit is required to get this up to 16 kilowatts. Now for the uh, 18 Flex Boss 18, this uh, that requires grid to be connected to get the uh, extra um, 13 kilowatt output. I think that's the case with this Flex Boss as well, but let's just try it. So I've got my grid turned off out here. So I have this also running in uh, off grid mode. But uh, so yeah, no grid at all. Let's see if we can get over the uh, 12 kilowatts continuous output. I don't think we can, but the specs say it can do 13 kilowatts for 12 minutes or 15 kilowatts for eight minutes. Yeah, but the specs sheet doesn't specify whether you need grid as part of that run test, but uh, let's just see, see what happens. Now we do have solar connected. We have about over 5,000 watts of solar coming in right at 13 kilowatts output power. So that's awesome. Not sure how long I should let this wait for, run for. Okay, that's been running for about three minutes. Let's go ahead and turn on a big burner here. Now I got a feeling this might run for a while. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit more. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't not I do not have grid connected. And it is running. Let's just see how long this runs for. It's gotta be turned off pretty soon. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you do not need uh, to have grid in order to reach the uh, 16 kilowatt continuous output. I'm just gonna let this run for a while now. Wow, this is crazy. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> It is still running. Oh my gosh. I gotta make sure no one turns on anything extra because I just wanna. Gotta make sure no one turns on anything extra in the house because I don't want this. I want this to run as long as I can get it to run for. Wow. It's doing good. It's gonna turn off any moment. It's actually should have turned off like. Like uh, a while ago? Yeah, a couple minutes ago it should have turned off. Looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't notice this earlier, but if you look closely, someone turned a load on. It didn't watch all the kids close enough. And uh, that's actually what caused it to trip. Oh, there it goes. Two minutes, so that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, when I turned grid, my power went off in my house, but when I turned grid on, it actually just automatically start, started diverting grid to run my house. And all of my solar is going into my batteries right now. I've got a cloud coming over. But in uh, just a little bit, it should automatically detect um, that we're, uh, we have a light load on and it should automatically switch back over to um, running on the batteries and the solar. Okay, so I've got some clouds coming over and, but anyways, if this can uh, hover just under the 16 kilowatt, hour, 16 kilowatt output mark, if I connect grid, it should definitely be able to do that. But you know, I think I need to dedicate a specific video in the future for testing the 16 kilowatt continuous output and the continuous output under different scenarios. And uh, I've requested a document from EG4. I think they have a document showing the different tests on continuous output with, with grid and solar, without grid and just solar. But it looks like it can do continuously 16 kilowatts output. And I didn't think it could, but it, it can. Because with the FlexBoss 21, you need the grid available to do that extra um, continuous output. But it looks like this one might be a little bit different. So I'm gonna test that in the future. Now I do have a spreadsheet here of showing the uh, FlexBoss 21 and how it uh, compares with the other inverters. And I'll put that as a download and I've got the prices there and I'll leave links here. These are affiliate links and you can see what the current price is of each uh, model that is currently out right now. And I've got discount codes in the description obviously for these units. 
Let me know if you order one of these. Uh, a lot of people are ordering them right now with the uh, news of the federal tax credit going away. So let me know if you have any questions or specific things you want me to test in the next video. Uh, we will, but we will talk to you guys later.